So in this video, we are going to improve <clears throat> an old image that I've done and which is one of my more favorite pieces that I don't want to remove from our station and we want to improve it and there's many ways to improve it to be fair but what we want to do is make things a bit brighter have some more contrast push some of the colors away that kind of makes it flat which is the fog uh, mostly and also the warm color maybe enhance some of the colors in the uh, apples and stuff like that so the first thing to know is <clears throat> this is very basic uh, video on how I'm doing this for this uh, this piece and keep in uh, keep in mind that the way this is organized is also if you make like a movie render or something and you want to do some color grading this is how you uh, should organize uh, your uh, um, color grading so it's for noise reduction to make sure you have a clean image in this case probably not going to do that primaries is the primary stuff we want to edit Curves in case we want to do some curves. Secondary is the secondary stuff we want to add it after we've done the two. Look adjustment in case we want to have a look adjustment or look develop look up table or something. The vignette, uh, vignette, 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 and this is the outside part of it. <coughs> it's the stuff we want to do, and then there's a uh, last global adjustment. This makes it very easy to edit and control your stuff. In the beginning, when I used to use the DaVinci Resolve. I would just have one node and I would do everything in one uh, place. But over time, I've had uh, some training and, and other professionals give me some guides and help who, who work in Hollywood. <coughs> so this is a simplification of that. Now, just gonna quickly uh, right click, um, show scope. And I'll just keep it hovering over here for now. And this is, you know, you're kind of familiar with this if you've done Photoshop or image editing or something like that. And uh, there's no right and wrong way of doing this, to be fair. Uh, some Hollywood um, makers, they want to have the color in the middle. This means that all the blacks and everything have some shape and visibility. And but if you want to do Rex 709 type of stuff, you kind of want to make sure that you have almost close to zero black and all your highlights on top. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is essentially we want to play with the lift and kind of because <clears throat> you can see we're kind of already in the blacks. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to pull it a little bit out so we can have some details in the black for later. <coughs> then you can do it again and you roll it to the right and we're pushing it so you can really see the brightness of the image. So already now you can see there's a huge improvement just doing this simple thing. Right? And this is part of the uh, control Z. Let's just do that quickly because it has to be the primary is very important. So again, you kind of make sure it's close to the blacks. I'm doing a little bit opposite though, because it's already clipping in the black for me. And I'm pushing the, the gain. Now keep in mind that these same settings exist in, uh, in engines, especially the Unity engine. So if you understand things in DaVinci Resolve, you can easily transfer this over into uh, the game engine and kind of visualize it based on what you learn from DaVinci Resolve, right? So what we're doing, we're pushing it, so we get some more focal point here in the middle, basically, right? <clears throat> now the principle here is, if I increase the gamma, right, because we want to push it even more, so really it feels like, you know, foggy and, and bright and, you know, a big, a big height light. But when you do that, and if you want to balance things out, you go to the left side. So if you, you touch gamma, you go to the left side, and you kind of, reduce it or increase it depending on um, what um, what you have to do if you do on gain you then go to gamma to balance what you did on gain understand so you touch gain you use gamma to counter and balance you touch gamma you use lift to con counter and balance and we're looking at this for the time being right okay so that's basically what's going on now we're also going to make sure that we 
go into the curves a little bit okay and you know we're trying to focus on this area on this curve what we're gonna do we're gonna crank the saturation up a little bit actually let's go back to the primaries and crank the saturation just a little bit maybe up to 60 it's a very colorful piece already so we want to do 60 and go backwards if we have to then we go to the curves <coughs> and I want to increase the contrast and you can see what happens you know it's crunching the image I right, will pushing the image to the the, bring, the 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 limit so to speak so I'm doing it on the left side on the right side for contrast and for the pivot I'm gonna go left side and what it's doing is, is you can see it's kind of stretching it even more if I go on the left if I go to right it's going down so we are kind of stretching it even more to kind of get the middle part you can see here on the histogram as well what's going on okay uh, <clears throat> different people will tell you different things obviously okay so I'm gonna go back to the primaries and uh, I'm gonna slide it to the left and kind of dim down a little bit on the gain and, and the reason we're doing it just to you know not have white clipping or too much detail being lost right and then we're going to use offset and what offset does it offset all three at the same time okay so i'm just gonna slide it one way or the other until i kind of get keep it down like this okay next what i want to do is i want to look at this and say okay maybe i want less blue or more blue or less red so if i wanted less red on the offset we're going to go the opposite way and what you'll notice it's starting to increase the other colors see that if i go there it's doing the opposite so now it's reducing the amount of warm color and it's balancing out the shot a little bit and obviously you have to do some uh, measurement and some tweaks as you go as well so maybe you want to tweak a little bit you know and you kind of go back and forth between lift and gamma to kind of see okay how far can you push the image to the direction you actually want it do you want to go more less right okay so that's kind of what we're doing here we're playing with this a little bit and it's the same here if I want to for example go into the gains and if I wanted to I could kind of go the opposite here as well and you know you could kind of change the looks according to this as well if you wanted to but we want to be careful because on the vector scope you generally want to make sure that you are staying in the middle like there's a big clunk there as the color spread out that's a good thing to do basically and we want to try and keep it on that for the time being all right um, so to balance this out you can specifically go to lift and you can pick the blue color you can say I want the blue to go a bit down again because we want to balance it we want the green to go down a little bit right and then you start to get the balance a little bit back right and you can do the same here as well if you wanted to to balance out the colors here as well so say for example it's a lot of red and you want to reduce it a bit but you want to increase the blue a little bit and you maybe you want to reduce the red a little bit more maybe push the blue a little bit right and this is just to make sure you know you're kind of undoing a little of the work you did in the beginning to kind of balance it out a little bit you know you're color correcting as i said uh essentially the first thing you do and it's the same like technically if i really wanted to be picky you know you will be pushing this up a little bit more this up a little bit more right to kind of bring in the white balance and if needed you know you could then go okay it's a bit too much blue maybe now so maybe you want to go the opposite direction right 
to get that balance you know so you can kind of tweak it like that maybe you look at the lift or you want to lift it a bit yes or no and in this case we're gonna push it down a little bit so you can see what actually needs to go down a bit more so we get the colors of this correctly okay so hopefully that gives you an idea that's like color balancing that's what we're doing initially now right we come a long way but we can if we wanted to push now the highlights a little bit more to the to the brink right and again here you can see we can in fact start pushing down this even more to the dark push this a little bit up just keep pushing it down a little bit maybe even get some of this back right so you can see there's a huge difference in how the information is being treated for timing and we are really expanding the information that's going on here okay that's the very important to understand we are really using more of the curves and pushing it a bit now what happens obviously is there's another way of doing things is if I go to hue versus hue versus saturation and I pick for example let's say we want to just green which seems to be more dominant now I'm gonna give in the feather and you can say okay we're gonna push the saturation a bit down and look what it's doing it's kind of balancing it a little bit more so it's not like super a lot right that's what we want to avoid you can be very careful with this as well okay just gonna undo a little bit because that was supposed to happen here in this one so we're gonna go pick green kind of cut it down a little bit to a bit more balance color here okay and then um, what we can do then is we can go to hue versus luminance or go to versus saturation uh, and what we just want to basically do is we want to click this white one just dropping a keyframe and then I just want to drop down a little bit uh, the keyframe and I'm gonna pick this one I'm gonna drop down a little bit of here not too much though and the reason I'm doing that is um, is the stuff over there basically if you, if you pay attention to it Let's see if I can show it to you. Uh, yeah, let's do select the white. I want to push down a little bit of the highlights over here. Pull it a little bit more down, but not too much. Uh, let's do that for the black too. Okay, that's that's okay. And then, what else can we do? <coughs> okay, yeah. Just adjust it very quickly the curve a little bit. Uh, while it was freezing, I think. <coughs> gonna go to look look adjustment, and here we're gonna try and um, you know tweak a little bit more creatively to get the adjustments and the look we actually might want to do so here i might go and say okay i want to keep the lift but i want to have more warm color right and you might say the same overall you might push the image you might push it down maybe 
Yeah, you can crunch it. But what happens when you crunch it? It becomes a bit darker and meatier, like so. Okay, so you can do that if you want to. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna crunch it a little bit down, and instead I'm gonna reset this. And I'm gonna push this really far up, like so. And then I'm gonna tweak this a little bit so I don't overclip too much. Okay. And then we can also add temperature, which is where you can kind of do a quick fix. So maybe I want to have a bit more daylight version. And then you can add a small tint, a bit of a creativeness to it. Okay, like so. And then uh, you can push it even further, further. And you can probably say, okay, I'm gonna go and add a big net. You can go in here and you can uh, select the circle. Put it around here, uh, add more um, softness to it, maybe something like that. You can uh, click this, which is going to invert it basically, like so. And then once it's here, you can then affect a certain area of it, right, to get the desired effect you want. And that's kind of a useful thing to do here as well. Okay, so we can actually increase it more if we wanted to. And then we can go to the curve. We go to the custom and we can pull it down. Right, to kind of make it even more moody. And then we can go to the outside one because that's why we have the outside one. And then you can pull it up a little bit to kind of give it a hidden slight highlight. So you eye is more likely to go that way but not too obvious you gotta be careful that it's not like super obvious either like so okay and then if you wanted to uh, we could go to global adjustment so we can go to contrast you can either brighten it up if you wanted to but what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure that the darks aren't completely dark but then we're gonna still pivot it we just gotta make it even brighter and I'm gonna actually kind of balance it out like this and um, I mean there's always more to do but the video is always already 20 minutes so at least you have an idea so you can see uh, it's quite different you know this is uh, it was cool at the time and it's a lot of people would like it as I said but you know this one uh, has a very different look to it um, again you can you can play with it you can do the necessary changes you could do a color boost again now on the global if you wanted to right so you could add some more color to it uh, yeah hopefully that's useful and you've learned a few things to improve or change or adjust your pieces now keep in mind this is what happens after color grading normally when you do the color correction you have a nice balance around and this means i've added a lot of blue basically you can see it's clipping and generally you would want to uh, correct that eventually as well actually so i might go in here and go okay i want to push it back push it forward balance it a bit uh, so there's always uh, these kind of things you want to do maybe push the gain a little bit back so we get a bit more of the green back because we, we lost a little bit of the green here right and then maybe you want to push the red a little bit more on the global one and hit a bit more red a bit more warm all right I mean it's pretty cool you can make it brighter and you know more highlighted and everything hopefully that's useful and thank you for watching have fun